Hello guys, and welcome back to the the Feed the Beast multiplayer let's play. I'm still not sure what I'm calling this thing. Anyways, we're almost done with our mob farm. We just have a few more layers to go. And unfortunately, I did lose some buckets to lag, so each only one of these is getting two buckets worth. Just quite annoying, uh, but these things will work really damn fast. As you can see, we only have a few layers to go. The entire thing, this entire pit, is going to be turned into a mob farm. It's going to be using Ethos design. Yes, I use those designs a lot. That's because they work, and partially because I don't have the time to experiment and come up with my own designs in this. Because that is actually very time-consuming. And oh my God, that's a lot of gravel falling. Nice, this thing will drop flint. It's awesome. We need flint. And we also need a lot of food now on the server. My friend Nick ended up getting quite a bit of stuff set up uh, while I've been off. Uh, mainly just a few machines. And I've been constantly working on this though. This is my project, really. It's going to be using Ethos Vertical Design, so all the mobs. We won't have to come down here at all, actually. All the mobs go up. And is there someone on the server? No. Just up there, isn't it? For some reason. So what we're going to use do is there's going to be a two by two area in the center here using uh, two by two canals, and then a nine by nine spawning pad. And this isn't going to be a very effective design. It's going to be a pretty basic one for starter purposes, really. But the soul shards are going to be much more effective traps later on. So why make something overly complex using that takes too, a lot of work? right now when all we need is something basic and when just when we can upgrade using this quite easily the soul shards well this thing also won't have a good rate either um that's the other thing that's why this is just being a simple one partially because of the spawning pads the way the spawning pads are going to be there's not going to be it's going to be they're going to be large spawning pads being in the mob so we'll take some time to get off of them and god damn it, the fucking gravel. And they're also going to be uh there's a lot of caves in this area, so it's gonna be slow because not much is gonna be very lit up. I think I'm gonna build an extra machine one of these days and show you guys how crazy the caves are. They are fucking insane. Oh my god. How much is in there? Two thousand, I think that's half or a third hole. Hopefully we should be good with just uh, those four barrels. More gravel. Great. Hey, a bat. And we're really worried about mobs spawning in here prematurely because that would cause a lot of trouble. Especially if they blew anything up. That would be a pain. But yeah, so for those of you who don't know what Ethos vertical design is, it's a relatively slow design, but it's a very good starter design for a mob farm because you get all the resources from it and you typically dig it underground as and you typically dig it as you're starting out it was something designed I think back in the alpha or beta, or beta days so I'm not sure how effective it is in this current day and age of Minecraft Let's see hopefully that's all yeah it looks like it oh wow that water stream is messed up god damn it so annoying to fix these. Oh, that water stream died. That's what happened. Let's see. Can we fix it? I think we need that one. Nice. And then that one. And it should be fixed. There we go. Yeah, for some reason my connection, I would have had this done last night and shown you guys it last night, but my connection was freaking the fuck out. Oh my god, it was horrible. I pretty much had no internet for all of last night, and I had a bunch of stuff for to edit, and I was just, it's not, yeah. It was, the laggy connection was causing my, uh, CPU to slow down and other stuff because I had a bunch of stuff up that was constantly trying to update and refresh. A bunch of programs couldn't work so they needed to update. It's just horrible. What the fuck is this?
Uh, the hell? I guess he had his turtle do some work. And didn't have it light anything up. Son of a bitch. Uh, I swear to god. It goes up. No, it doesn't. Okay. So I'm good. We're gonna go need to get more lava soon. Uh, those magmatic engines are extremely fast, but they blow through lava quite quick. They only hold four buckets worth. I'm gonna leave these diamonds here. I assume they're his. It's gonna be hard for him to get to them though once we start working on this. So, appetite, yeah, that is appetite. Because this area is gonna completely be filled in. It's not gonna be. Actually, damn it, I want it. Oh, nice, we're getting holes. From the ceiling. Yeah, it looks like it's only down to one engine right now. Judging by the speed it's going. Now we're gonna be filling up on dirt. Oh my god, more gravel. Gravel, you are the bane of my existence. Yeah. So hopefully. Uh, it would be low enough for me to consider doing it myself, so I'd rather just go get more buckets of lava. Did I get it done? Yeah, I think he had his turtle go through there. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have any way to shut this off, though. That's the thing. Because there's gonna- usually you don't need a way to shut it off. You could just clog it, or if you do need to shut it off, you need to go in and light off the pads. Or you just TNT it and blow the thing to can come. Actually, there'd be no need to uh, shut it down because I could just run the filler again to just tear it down and then fill it back in with cobble or something. Uh, I could. So yeah, that's what the filler is meant to do. It's meant to fill stuff. Let's see, Why is it slowing down at all? Nope. So I think, because this is dirt, we don't need dirt that much, uh, I'm going to go take this opportunity to go get more lava and show you where I can get the lava from. Which I don't know, I think I might have recorded a clip of me going to get it, but it's probably going to be removed or cut out because it's probably in a big chunk that I'm going to cut. Oh my god, fucking ladders. Ugh. Yeah, I think it just stopped, no, it was just a bit of lag. Still going strong, wow. Let's actually check the lava in it. Yeah, these two have stopped. Yeah, it's pretty much gone. And it's about to be sunset. Nice. Uh, so, let's see. I'll take, I'll show you guys what he's done. Still need to burn that canopy down. God damn, it's building up a lot. Got a generator here, apparently. That box. Okay, so that's how he has to stuff it up. There's another portal. I don't think I've shown another base yet. Enchanting table. My personal safe with my stuff. We've got this. We've got this soul for our drop. I'm just trying to make more soul shards. Be back in just a second. I'm going to take a drink of lemonade, which you guys will probably hear. Really, only recommend uh, if you're going to record yourself. And do commentary and all that stuff. Don't drink soda. Do not ever drink soda. It is. It does not end well. Just moving my mic. Because so I realized I've had it in a bad position. And my audio quality is probably going to... Not quality. Uh, maybe quality. <clears throat> so let's see. Lava. Oh god. Okay, that was close. So yeah. There's lava really close by on the ground. It takes just as long, if not longer, to go get it from over here. But, uh, then it does to get it from over here. But over here, we're able to get. Also, takes more food to get over here, though. Which we don't have a lot of. Over here, when chunks decide to load. Ooh, that's a ravine. Might be interesting to check out. And over here, we're uncovering a bunch of marble. Which I want a lot of. There we go, just a bit of survey like. 
So as you can see, there's a bunch of marble here. And you can see we've drained quite a bit of that. Now for this actual mob farm, I think we're just gonna open up this ceiling this episode, and then I'll probably cut it and go do something else. But yeah, it's gonna take a lot of work to actually build the whole thing. I'm thinking of figuring out how to get the turtles to do it, and then either hijacking his turtle and having it do it for me, or then, uh, farming the filler could do it, but it would be really annoying to move around and do it all the time. Filler is only really good for large workspaces like this, just because of the amount of work it takes to get set up at times. And server's lagging, or I am, I'm not sure. Probably me. Uh, let's see, two buckets in that one. One bucket in these ones. We still haven't gotten into Thumbcraft yet. Uh, I'm mainly working on getting XP and other stuff going. But yeah, only... Wow. I think we'll want to be down here when it finally opens up. I don't know, I think it'll look more impressive than down here. Plus we need to collect all that dirt. I do have the water break down there, but I don't trust it. It's frozen over already another time. It's just bad luck. <laughs> yeah, look at all that dirt. Look at how fast it's going. It's opening up holes now, sunlight filtering through, getting rid of the void fog. See the sun, finally, little tiny patches of light filtering through. It's impressive how fast this thing works, and how little, I mean literally, literally that whole entire little pole of lava, we could have manufactured it ourselves. You could have routed some of the power from those engines to make lava, to power them, even. Oh god. Okay, that was just like I thought I, was, I had a full inventory of dirt already. Which I probably wouldn't be surprised if I did. Uh, let's see. There we go. More. One more layer, I think. That's what it's going to be, it's off-center, but yeah, that was, I was trying to do it with the 13 by 13 specifications I thought the mob farm was before. But it's actually 20 by 20 with this design. At least with the small design that I'm doing. Here to build an actual, ah, oh, there we go. You're going to build a full-scale mob farm, I'd probably do it the way I, me and my friend did it on the Anarchy server. Which would be to actually build four towers. No, five, uh, an arrangement of five sky towers. Oh my god, it's lagging. <laughs> it's lagging from all the lighting updates. And... There we go. That is impressive. That giant hole. Oh no, I left that little thing! That little island, I have to go remove that by hand. I have to remove what's left of it by hand. I need to get back up there before the generators cause- not the generators, the engines cause one of the pipes to explode. Yes, they will do that. The golden pipes can only hold so much power. Actually, all the pipes can only hold so much power, all the conductive ones. And so if they absorb too much power, they of course explode. you guys finally get to see how big this actually is. You can see it on the map right there, actually. All the blue. Yeah. A big giant block of power. Oh, nice. We can get cold dust from this. Did that actually take all of it? I don't think we needed it to take all of it. Anyways, let's see. 
Let's get that off of there. Let's clear this little spit that's still there. This thing is dangerous <laughs> right now. It's just a giant open pit. Oh, wow. It's actually a few blocks larger than it needs to be, if I remember correctly. God damn. <laughs> 20 by 20 by 60 hole. So, for those of you who aren't paying attention, those those things down there that were filtering thick and old cobble, those are barrels. Those hold 64 stacks of 64. We filled four of them. That is a solid wall of cobble from about there to there. All the way down. At, le at least. Probably from there to there. All the way down. The ores probably only took up one or two layers. One or two rows. <sighs> now we have to build this thing up all the way. And this is the annoying part and the time consuming part. So we divide it into fourths basically. Each fourth is a pad of a, of a two, two wide uh, two wide water trench going down and meeting in the center. In the center we have an array of signs which is going to take an entire forest of wood causing water, holding water there. So that way the mobs go into the center and then swim, swim all the way up and then go up to a drop and then get dropped to have a heart or killed. I don't even know if the bottom spawn pads are going to work actually. I'll just park, put it that low just so I'd find diamond and all that stuff. I think they may actually be too low for out of spawning range. Pretty sure they are actually. So the bottom pads are going to be pretty much useless. But yeah, uh, we'll get that built in the next episode. Probably, I think. I don't know when that's going to come out. So I have a bit of a party to go to. Uh, late Christmas party kind of thing. Before school starts back up for everyone, including myself. Anyways, I think I'll go show off the nether base and call it an episode. Yes, this one's going to be poorly edited and all stuff. You'll see the footage and all the stuff of us working towards it probably next episode, if at all. I don't know, it's pretty boring stuff. It shows how we got a lot of this, though. And all this, and it shows the start, and hit raining cobble, and me finding tons of diamond, and oh yay, that's a project table, and oh my god, he did a lot. Wow. He really did a lot. Wait, those cells, are those... Why the hell did he get enough tin for all those cells? Is there an alternate way to make cells? What the hell? Maybe a bunch of empty batteries so I don't get why. It's only tin? Yeah, it's only tin. Holy shit, how much tin? Oh, because he got the rock crusher over there, he actually messed up with. That's nice. So this is the nether area that we have built. This the little base is actually permanent, but the portal is temporary. Why is it all cobble, you ask? Because whenever I used to go into another, I'd always build some sort of cobble nether fortress. My own fortress, because I was paranoid of gas when I first started playing and all that stuff. And I'd always built it to a general design. It'd be all cobble, because that was cheap and that's all we had, and it was blast resistant. That was back in beta when, like, when the first, no, the first came out, and there wasn't very many glass resistant blocks. I don't even think sandstone was in there, and yet. Anyways, though, we typically, the design is just to build it with another landscape as well. Uh, you build basically a base for your portal, and then you build a tower. You typically build a tower on a rare fort that's going into the ceiling so you can lay a rear line, which we have yet to do. This is why this roof is still undone. I think we're gonna do a tower straight up. And then just have an easy way to get up there, or then move the portal up there or something. And then you'll build pathways on other bases. So like for example, I might build another area up here instead. I think we're gonna get away from that gas. And of course you keep all your walkways safe. Back in beta we'd build these giant three no four by four tunnels and run a bunch of crazy shit through them. We'd always use speed potions and all this stuff. So you can push into hitting it. You'd always have a way down to the lava lakes and all that stuff. Bats. 
fucking hate them. They're annoying as hell. I think they can actually fly in through these. Which is why the nether is always dangerous. No, they cannot. Yay, but they could actually pop path to and see if you're there, so. Yeah, these should keep the gas from firing in. That's a half upside down half slab right there. And the stone fence should be a half block right here, an invisible half block that you could shoot through, I think. But it shouldn't prevent the gas projectile from going through because that's an entity. The arrow's an entity to actually. Then right here we have our path to the nether fortress. This is our primary project usually, building a good path all the way to uh, the nearest nether fortress. Actually found this going up the top way. So I carved a tunnel all the way back. And this nether fortress is a fucking labyrinth. It is insane. And this also works for keeping you on. And you're able to jump off at any time should there be danger. But it's going to be a bit difficult to get back on. But yeah, it's many secrets been down there without having to worry about running off into the slow sand. And this is another fortress. We've got a boy spawner over there. We're going to set up a farm at it. It's going to be a simple farm, probably, just having them spawn in one spot and then killing them. Because we don't need to make a complex place farm with this, with the soul shards. The soul shards, we can just kill about a thousand total, I think. And it allows us to spawn them in the overworld. I think it's 800 minimum, actually, to spawn them in the overworld. And then if you kill a thousand, you get a, you're able to make a spawner that is really good and really fast. And, yeah, pretty broken, actually. You just make a basic spawner, farm them, uh, get the soul shard made, and then, yeah, you're set. So as you can see, I'm not a food, and I think my friend Nick is as well. So, that is obviously the next project on the on the table. If you're wondering, yes, all these chests are just empty. This is nether storage. I always build a room like this. Well, not like this shape, the shape of, uh, what is it? About 12 chests, 12 double chests. Which, I don't even know how much wood that is. A lot. But yeah, I always build a lot of swords in my nether. Because it's convenient. And I like it. But yeah, uh, I really hate getting these open areas. This is why I built the fortress immediately. Otherwise, I'd have built just a wall or something and started digging through and getting a wall. Not wall. And getting a pathway to the uh, nether fortress. And wow, my jaw is getting tired from talking. I have never had that happen before. So that's what happens when you've been away from commentating for a while due to sickness and other shit. And there's a dog howling. So, as you can see, we've made quite a bit of progress. We haven't done much building yet, but advancement-wise, we have gone. We have moved quite a ways. We need to finish that mob farm. We'll have an XP farm, then making this thing even more useful. And making these just as useful. Speaking of those, what do we need them for? Let's see. Sorry for the noisy chair. I am looking into getting a new one. Invarium drop. It's a temporary recipe. Then gears. I still don't know what that's a laser and assembly table is for. Must be good because I need diamonds, at least with the Greg Tech recipes. Rolled anchors. Those, I don't remember them needing two diamonds for. Oh wow, those have been nerfed too. Uh, they need diamonds as well. And you need, I think, two or three of those. Wow. And there's the sickle. That's actually pretty good. 8k RAM module. Uh, I don't know what that is really. Uh, it's going to be crouched probably, but I don't know how to use it at all. And the diamond chest, that's pretty good for the amount of storage it gives you. Some of this stuff's pretty damn crazy. That's definitely worth it if you know to, how to use it. Prototype Omni Wrench. I wonder if that's a wrench that works with everything. But yeah, uh, Portal Gun's gotten nerfed too. Oh, wow. That is. Crazy. You need a miniature black hole. Wow, he lost his armor too. I wonder what he's been doing. Well, I think I'm going to actually call it an episode here though. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm going through this pretty boring episode. God damn it. Yeah, <laughs> asshole. 
and yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to start getting better footage put out soon, and better episodes and stuff, but I hope you guys will just bear with me for now. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys have enjoyed, leave some feedback, and tell me if there's anything you want to see, because I really need to get out of my rut. I've been thinking of doing Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap as a 100% run, I'd have to use a guide for that of course. And maybe going back and doing another round of Civ 5, though that would be done when I have more time. Mainly I need to get ahead of schedule, partially, so I could, god damn it, <laughs> so I could uh, start working on learning how to use Blender and getting the animations and shit out and practice at that so I could get the big project that I want to work on out the best we go. I need to pump some snowballs. God damn it! <laughs> oh, he's lagging too much, too. Well, I think we'll call an episode here with him flaunting his jetpack, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching again. Leave feedback. Uh, Minish Cap 100% run. So, five are some big options. Um, what would I really feel like playing right now? Hmm. Nah. Yeah. I guess we're gonna end this off with me yawning, so. Again, thank you guys for watching. Leave some feedback, all that crap. And I'm actually gonna end it off this time.